Yeah, clever name it is. Y'all give it up for my man, Reggie Warrington. Give it up, give it up. My next comedian comes to the stage, man, high energy dude, man. Right the city, man, he been killing shit, man. Y'all already clapping, man. Y'all already clapping, y'all already clapping. Need that energy for my boy. Give it up for Manny Griggs. What's up, Speak Easy? How we doing tonight? Oh, shit. So I had a set for this, but I got a story because, you know, my life is crazy. And a lot of things have been happening to me these past couple of days. So I want to tell y'all a story before I get into my set about how I fought the flesh the other day. You want to see this ass live in the flesh? So I'm 27 years old and I've been in these streets since I was about 18. I've been fucking since I was like 16. Bruh. And I was like damn I'm really tired of like catching bodies because like nigga be out here and slinging dick and I'm just like I'm tired of it like so I, I went to the sex shop uh, a lot of erotica I think it was and I was like I'm about to buy me one of them fucking fleshlights so I had wait before I say this is there anybody in here a part of the alphabet community nope okay so the one of the guys in there he wanted to assist me with buying a fleshlight he was like oh I'm so glad you're here in a bit Hi, nice to see you. Can I help you, gentlemen? I'm so glad that you have come. And I was like, yo, keep your fucking voice down, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? What a flashlight that? Oh, they're in the bag. Like, he's like so excited to get me a flashlight. He was like, we got the ones with oh, no remote. Did you just put the shit on? I'm like, bro, yeah, I done. just need Thank a regular flashlight, dog. So I got one. It was like, uh, it was like 99 It was like the wet ass pussy ones. It was like two pounds. So this is where it gets good. Regular people would be like, I'm gonna wait till I get home to try the product to see if it worked, right? Right? Are y'all there? I tried that motherfucker when I was driving, y'all. Nigga, what? <laughs> the shit was crazy. I'm like, I opened the package, I'm looking at this shit, I'm like, bro, this shit ain't, this shit take wet ass pussy money back guarantee. I'm like, looking at this shit, yeah, okay, we gonna see. So I'm driving, and I'm, I'm on I 10 with this shit. I put that motherfucker on my shit. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, and then I'm driving this shit like that, and I'm, I'm going crazy with this shit. And there's a Harris County chef, sheriff on the right lane, and I'm driving past. I got the flashlight in one hand. I'm waving at the sheriff. How you doing, deputy? But I'm, I'm going crazy. I'm, I almost crashed my fucking beans. But that was my story about how I fought the flesh, because I'm not fucking with you hoes no more. Y'all hoes be lying, bro. Y'all be lying about not having social media. Y'all be lying about not having social media. Y'all be lying, bro. But you know what I'm saying? like. That's my story about how I fought the flesh. Y'all be lying. Uh, <clears throat> real quick, a little bit more about me. I used to be in the service. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? I served the country for about seven years. Any veterans in here? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, uh, okay. Army, Navy. Army. Army. Dummy. Army. Dummy. Okay. Nah, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I was in the Air Force. I was security forces. You feel me? But so I I came back home and. I didn't realize, y'all, it's not the, the service, it's not the military that gave me PTSD, y'all. It was my, my fucking family. My family's the one that gave me PTSD because I feel like I'm the fucking black sheep. Everybody's got fucking problems. Can, can y'all agree? Are y'all there? We all got problems. 2022, everybody got problems, y'all. We all got some bullshit going on in our fucking lives. We ain't got time to be worried about he say, she say. We supposed to be coming together as black folks. Everybody clap. Round of applause if you black. Hey, but I come home, I'm like, yeah, I'm about to come home. Me and my brother's gonna come together. We're about to get a bag. We're about to flex on these hoes. And they like, they supposed to be here tonight. But these niggas not here. You know why? Because they selfish. I always think about themselves. I say, hey, bro, you coming out tonight to the show? He say, yeah, bro, I'm gonna take your pictures. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, 7.30 rolling around because I wanted to be here on time. I didn't want to upset Cliff. I got the message, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to upset Cliff. He sent me the message. He said, be here. By 8 o'clock, if you're in the first five slots, I said, no problem, bro. So I'm on the way, you feel me? And I'm like, you, you, you coming? Nah, bro, you ain't that funny anyway, motherfucker. What? <laughs> God damn. Yo, my family be so hard on me, bro, but I'm gonna keep going with this kind of shit because I've been doing this for six months. I need y'all to follow me on my Instagram, my YouTube, Manny Griggs. Subscribe to the channel because I really be popping on the internet. Thank y'all. Speak to you tonight.